So we're going to talk a little bit about data centers here, and then we're going to talk about electric vehicle applications. So let's start with this example. What we're looking at here is a conventional uh, 3.2 kilowatt uh, power supply, and it's made with silicon. You can buy this in the market today, and you can see roughly the size of this. This is a uh, AC to DC converter. So it, ha it takes 220 volts AC or 240 volts AC in and delivers 48 volts out. The one in front actually does the same job, and it's half the size. Uh, but the other interesting thing about it, and this was done in a partnership with North Carolina State and uh, University of Texas, we demonstrated that we could achieve this power level all with GAN power devices, all throughout, both in the front end of the AC to DC converter, which is referred to as the power factor correction circuit, and in the second stage of the converter, which is the DC to DC section that takes 400 volts down to 48 volts, it's all GAN. All the power devices are GAN. Uh, and not only that, they're operating in some conditions at more than one megahertz. So we've upped the frequency in order of magnitude, and we've cut the size in half. Um, and that was a demonstration that we did uh, two or three years ago with those universities. Now we have uh, a different type of data center application. So this one delivers a big power supply to power uh, a number of different processors. So it delivers 48 volts for multiple processors. This delivers 48 volts for one advanced high power uh, processor card. So the one on the left is a silicon device at 750 watts. The one on the right is a GAN device at one kilowatt. And you can see, obviously, the power density is four times higher on the GAN device, and it's delivering 33% uh, more power. So I think I would much rather mount that device on my motherboard than that big black thing, which is kind of a monstrosity. So that's data centers and enterprise. Um, this is electric vehicles. So there are three major applications in electric vehicles for power electronics at high power levels. Uh, the big one is the traction. The next biggest one is the onboard charger. And the smaller one is the DC to DC. So onboard chargers, this particular onboard charger is a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger. Onboard chargers of the future are going to go up above 20 kilowatts. So just like you don't have to wait a long time to charge your phones, you don't want to have to wait a super long time to charge your car. So this is actually a Tesla Model S uh, unit that we, that we acquired and uh, took it apart. And you can see, uh, if you want later, if you're here, you can come and check how heavy this thing is. It almost breaks the table. And you can see some of the components on the inside, uh, bulk capacitors, inductors, and so forth, uh, wound components, um, quite big and bulky. This mock-up um, scale model includes everything here in 6.6 .6 kilowatts. What we expect to do for our customers to move this whole thing into this size device you show some capacitors and transformers on the opposite side, uh, inductor, wire wound, PFC inductor, um, some eight switches in, in small uh, high power packages, and uh, uh, a couple of DC switches in there to combine with it. So uh, incredible 5x reduction in size and weight, uh, or maybe more than that. Um, so there's the OBC example. The big one that is going to increase the range of the cars dramatically is going to be traction, and uh, that's something that we will also address in the future.